Hey guys, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. We're going with a more fall look because it's fall finally and it actually despite my sleeveless shirt is a crisp cool day here in Colorado. I'm loving it so I was just inspired to do a little bit of a fall look. I am talking today about Marie Veronique, her skincare line. I've used a bunch of products for over 30 days now and wanted to give you my review of her products. If you aren't familiar with her line, she of course has her own website, but I have bought the products from Credo. This company was founded by her in 2002. She has a degree in math and science and was a teacher and basically she's just a big skin nerd. Like I think all these founders are and she I believe struggled with adult acne and rosacea and just started this line on her own because she was looking for something and so this line has been around tested true the actual line that I use is the one that was created with Christina Holy who is a skin skin care specialist to the stars she only works with symptomatic skin like dermatitis, adult acne, barrier dysfunction. I have some notes here that I'm glancing at. Her title at the company is Director of Skin Health. Isn't that a great name? All of her products are essential oil free because as much as we in the clean beauty space, space love essential oils, they're not typically good for reactive skin. Some might be fine, some not, so it's best just to look for products without essential oils. I've got one, two, three. They're over here, obviously. Oh, they're out of your view, I see. Okay, um, I've got a cleanser, a toner. I've also tried two vitamin C serums. Then I have a serum, an oil, and a mist. I believe that's everything I've tried. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna talk a little about the product, like the experience, the texture, how it smells, what it was supposed to do versus what it did. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you my final verdicts, my favorites, my mediums, and my least favorites, and um, my overall results, and what I think of the line in total, and would I use it again? I started off with one impression and I'm closing with a completely different one. All right, the first product we have here is the Pure E&O Free Oil Cleanser, non-stripping to gently resurface and smooth skin with omega-6 oils and SOD. I never found out what SOD was. Sorry, I'm reading here online. Anyway, it's supposed to remove the day, sunscreen and makeup. This is a, you know, travel size. They make a much larger version, which is four ounces is the full size. This is one ounce. You shake it. Every product of hers that I tried, you have to shake. That is important if you want to get the right texture and ingredients, just FYI. So you've got to shake this one. And it is an oil cleanser, which means it's a first step cleanser. Put it on dry skin, rub it around, and then wet your fingertips, rub it around to emulsify it, and then rinse it off. What this product was like. Well, it's essential oil free, completely unfragranced. It smelled gross. I did not like the smell. The texture, yes, you have to shake it, but it's almost like it has coconut oil at, at room temperature or solid which I think it does actually have. No, this one does not. Oh, sod is superoxide dismutase. Okay, so that is something that helps break down, let me, uh, potentially harmful oxygen molecules in cells. So basically from what I can tell, it's like maybe an antioxidant type thing. It helps prevent damage to cells. It's of course being researched more, but it may play a role in healing your skin from disease. So that's what the sods are. You don't mind if I'm all over the place, do you? I mean, you're used to it if you watch me. Okay, um, so my experience, like I was saying, it did, if I shook it and got it in my hand, it did like melt that solid portion into more of an oil. Rubbing it around, I, I don't know if it was removing the sunscreen and makeup, but you know when you rub like your hands together when they're hot, especially when you were younger and used to do more with your hands and have dead skin, like little balls of dead skin, almost little cylinders of dead skin would come off, you could feel them. If you don't, I'm sorry, that may sound gross, but that's what it was like, rubbing it around my face, I'd end up with basically pilling all these little 
cylindrical balls of something. And I didn't like that because, well, I didn't like it. And also that told me it's somewhat exfoliating, I think, and I'm not looking for exfoliation even though this is a super gentle product. It did wash clean when I, you know, rinse it off, make it all milky and then rinse it off. It did wash clean. My skin didn't feel stripped. It didn't do a great job around my eyes with the eye makeup. Now, according to Christina Holy, I actually did a class with her. According to her, it absolutely can remove all of your makeup, including eye makeup. Lots of her clients have found that it does. And maybe I didn't use enough whatever it worked just fine i always went in with a second cleanse so that wasn't a big deal to me i just thought i'd note it on that note they do not make a regular cleanser they only make at least in this christina holy line they only make this uh oil cleanser so i would go in with a different cleanser not marie veronique and then i would use the balancing hypotonic which has beta glucan and D-panthenol. Um, panthenol is moisturizing. Beta-glucan does the same thing as hyaluronic acid, but it works differently. It doesn't pull moisture from the atmosphere. So if you live in a dry climate like I do in Colorado, it's not gonna possibly pull moisture from your skin if there isn't enough locked in around it or from the air. So I, I do like that. It says it will penetrate the lipid layer to rehydrate, rebalance microflora and skin pH. So like most toners it's there to balance the pH. Again, shake a shake a shake a. This smelled to me a little like rosemary, but then also something funky. <laughs> so again, not a big fan of the scent. This is one that you, and again, this is a travel size. This is one that you shake and then put on a cotton round and wipe all over your face. Again, for me, I don't enjoy the experience of wiping it all over my face because that is exfoliation no matter how gentle you are with that cotton run it is a light form of exfoliation and i have been in a situation where i damaged my skin from doing too much exfoliation using too many harsh products acids you know peelers whatever that i'm just mentally hypersensitive to that i did not get any sensitivity from this product i'm not going to go over the ingredients of these i don't think i started off the video by saying that most of the products do start with green tea leaf infusion, which is a powerful antioxidant, and the ingredients are all phenomenal. Like if you read the list, I think you'll be impressed, even if you never want to try this line. It's impressive. This was a prepping toner in the sense that my skin felt nice and moisturized and hydrated. Not moisturized, but it didn't feel stripping or drying. It felt good after I used it and it was a little refreshing because of that rosemary type scent. Then I would go in with the pre-probiotic daily mist and actually this is not say it was done with Christina Holy. So this one is not in this particular line but it's a daily mist. It's to calm irritation with micronutrients which encourage microbial diversity and restore balance and instant refresh. Now. Again, shake, shake, shake. I think the mister is fine. A fine mist, no pun intended. The scent is light. It's not floral, but it's botanical. It's nice. I like the scent. It's just refreshing. And it's a pre and probiotic daily mist. I don't know how well this works. I can tell you I use it under makeup. I use it over makeup to, as sort of a setting spray. And then I also used it in my nighttime routine in the order in which I'm going with these products. In the vein of jumping all over the place, Marie Veronique and Christina Holy do not believe you need to wash your face more than once a day. So I have only been using these products once a day except for this one. This one I will use throughout the day whenever I feel like it, some days more than others. But all the others I only use once a day, at night after cleansing. Breath mint. Now there are two more products that are not in this Christina Holy line, just Marie Veronique, that I've used. Sucking on the breath mint. They are both vitamin C serums. The first is vitamins C and E Ferulic Serum. And I've talked about this one more extensively. I will put the video up above and link it in the description box. This was highly effective, worked very well. It did have that bacon smell. If you've used vitamin C, you know what I'm talking about. That's what it should smell like. 
Again, you gotta shake it before you use it. It came in a pump dispenser. It did leave a like a tacky feeling on my skin after I used it. I didn't repurchase this one because I found that with everything else I was doing, it was too sensitizing for my skin. It was really effective and my skin has become more and more sensitive as I've gotten older. This one was a little too sensitizing for me. So I used her other vitamin C serum, which is the C Therapy Serum. This one just uses more gentle forms of vitamin C, a little bit less effective. I probably then could have gone from this one to the other one that was sensitizing for me, but I've stopped using vitamin C temporarily and you'll see what I'm using in a soon to be video. I liked this one. I cannot remember the finish, if it was tacky or not, I'm sorry. And I don't believe it smelled as strongly as the other version of that bacon scent, but I was fully pleased with this one. I still had good results with it and I would use either of these again. Next in my nighttime reg regime, regimen, is the Barrier Restore Serum. This is a full size and I love what this one says. Imperative for all skin. Reestablishes and maintains barrier function essential for a radiant complexion. This one, I'll show you because I still have some left. Again, of course, you've got to shake it. I'm just gonna put a little bit there for you. It's the sort of brown color, very earthy color, brownish green. You can't really smell it until you start to rub it in and it's sort of a gel texture. Yeah, I can totally smell it now. So usually I put two pumps in my hand, rub my hands together and put it all over my face and neck. I do put it up under my eyes and even on the brow bone and you know, all everywhere else. This is for restoring moisture basically. And I found that it doesn't dry down all the way. It will, you know, not be as tacky as a vitamin C serum, but I can still feel it on my skin. I always put something on top of it to seal it in even more because I, you know, live in a dry climate. If I lived elsewhere, I may be, do that one and be done, but I have dry skin and I live in a dry climate. Finally, I've got the Rejuvenating Night Oil, and again, this one is not with Christina Holy. So I guess I'm doing a brand overview of various products. I haven't tried all of them for sure, but this is a rich blend of omega-3 and 6 essential fatty acids, improves tone and elasticity. And that is essentially what this is. It's just for moisture, adding more fats and lipids to the skin, which would increase you know, or improve tone and elasticity. Again, this scent, let me shake it, I'll show you. It is a beautiful color. That rich yellow could be from the jojoba seed oil. This has a definite scent as well. I don't know if pungent is the right description. It's not a thick oil, but it's not a thin oil. I would say it's somewhere in between it's definitely hydrating and it does sit on top of everything. I've never used it without something underneath it, although I did just put it on my hand without anything. And it is sinking in quite nicely. But on top of the Barrier Restore, I use that before I go to bed, but I try to do it like at least an hour before I'm gonna lay down on the pillow because it is still sitting on my skin and I will kind of stick to the pillow. It'll just be like, you know that slow <laughs> peel off it's a beautiful oil it's got tons of great essential fatty acids and it's very hydrating moisturizing and that's my final product that i use and so now i'm gonna wrap up wrap up this could take a minute these are my final thoughts so i'm gonna close my computer get it out of the way least favorite products well I think you can guess. It is the pure e and o free oil cleanser i just have other oil cleansers that i enjoy more I don't know if they work better, but I enjoy them more. And as I've said, and I'm sure you agree, skincare is also about the experience, not just the ingredients and results. And if I can get similar results with a different product that I enjoy the experience more with, I'm just gonna use that. So this one is a no for me. The next medium product, I would say we're now with the mediums, is that so there was only one product that I didn't like medium product is now the balancing hypotonic it does have beta glucan and panthenol and it is pH balancing I like all those things it's just hard for me to tell if this worked or not 
if I received it in a box or ended up with another one of these, I absolutely would use it. But I can't say I would seek it out because I didn't like the scent and I don't like wiping something on my face. For the time being, this is just a medium product. I think it's nice to add, but I don't think it's needed in a routine. Also medium would be the pre and probiotic daily mist. It's nice. I'm sure the pre and probiotics are great for my skin. I know the ingredients are wonderful. The scent is nice and I do love a mist. I don't know that this has done wonders for me and I'm not in love with anything about it. So this is just a medium product for me as well. The yeses would be the two vitamin C's. Of course, you only use one of them, not both. They were both excellent and I had really good results. I don't care that it left me tacky or didn't smell very good because those products for me really are about the results more than the experience and I always layer it with something on top of it so that tackiness went away and the scent went away and that just didn't bother me. And then the two bests would be the Rejuvenating Night Oil and the Barrier Restore Serum. I always need hydration. I think we could all use some help with a barrier, our skin barrier, and this was a beautiful um, moisturizing night oil or just oil in general and I could totally see repurchasing both of these because of the benefits I definitely saw from them. Now the brand as a whole, I thought these are very expensive, very good quality ingredients. I don't know about the science. I didn't love, love the experience of really any of them in the sense of the texture was amazing, the smell was amazing, and the results were amazing. Like none of them did I say it smells great and works great. However, I have been getting facials regularly, microcurrent facials to, I'm not going to do Botox or any of that, and so I've been doing these microcurrent facials which is like taking your muscles on your face to the gym, for lack of a better description. You have to go regularly. So I've just gotten started, and so I've been seeing this esthetician regularly. And today when I went, when I left, I said, how'd my skin look? She said, you know, it was smoother than it's been and less reactive than it's been. Usually when she rubs something around, my face would turn all red. She said it did not do that this time. And she noticed that it's smoother. So I'm definitely seeing results with these products. And now I'm thinking I may just stick with this line a little longer. I have purchased one product from a different skincare line, but it's not in this of anything I'm using. So um, at this point, I'd have to say that I recommend it. And I'm gonna stick with it longer because if my esthetician is seeing differences and positive results, then I know it is doing something good for my skin. So I do think it could work for oily, acne prone, sensitive, rosacea, dehydrated, whatever the issue may be. There's certainly things in this line and is gentle enough to accommodate your skin. I hope that was helpful. I hope I answered most questions you may have. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also let me know if you've used their retinol serum. I currently have like a year and a half supply left of retinol, but I'd love to try hers, especially now that I've seen how effective her vitamin C's are and how well my skin is responding to all of her products. Let me know what your favorite products are for skincare, what lines or products I should be trying, and in the meantime, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.